crazy. Before we start out this 3D Machines production, I do have to say that I do have two important pieces of information that'll be at the end of this video. What do you think about this beauty? Needs work. Needs work, come on, I thought you were on my side, not the comment section side. I came in here like a bat out of hell. So I hit that snow bank and somehow I hit my door off. This is an RV, Clark. Yeah, let's just manhandle this thing and see if we can tip that sucker right out. We've already thrown the futon out and the couple pieces of mattress box or whatever you call them. Tip outs are both out. Jason and I are looking at this thing. The overall objective right now is the fact that it's a 35 foot trailer. We need to condense that down to a 30 to 25 foot trailer because it's just too long. Like it's, it's way too long. So, so you're liking all the room for activities currently? Yeah. The only problem is, is all these activities are a lot of weight. All this spot for activities is a lot of weight. A lot of weight. If you say move. 8,200 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's too much. I thought the Duramax could do 12. Oh, the Duramax can do it all day long, but my MPGs are going like this. Well, the thing is, is if we start lopping some of this stuff off, it's less work we have to do. Now there's five feet less of renovation we have to do, or 10 feet less of renovation to do. And I like the sounds of that because then we can get back to what's really important, racing, riding, So you're talking fixing. about, you're talking about knocking off the back 10 feet, yep. chopping off the frame, re-welding the bumper back on, Yep. moving the axles. Yep. I was thinking that it'd only take like two or three hours. <laughs> Got it. That would take like, that would take a couple days, but I look for it. Like, this is gonna be awesome. This is, like, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but this renovation is going to be a lot of fun because you're gonna see this piece of junk that we got for free turned into something that actually works, drives, looks good. Here, spin a little bit. Yeah. We've come up with a game plan. We're gonna go into the shop real quick to the warehouse, get some tools, get, get a charger for Jake because his phone always dies, and uh, we'll start carrying this thing apart. So I started ripping this apart and this needs to be replaced. We're gonna do the whole the whole top here. We're bringing all these shelves off, bringing the bathroom forward so that we can load crush from the back. That's that's the plan so far. Wait, he's got a hammer, what the, what are we doing here, Jake? Jake, what's up, how are we doing over here? Good. Just tearing stuff. Okay, I guess Jake is going to get right to it. They're picking this closet out. Yeah, there was some glass doors on that. You saw that. Jason's gone ahead and tried to get to the air conditioning system, but uh, we didn't take any sockets, so we can't do that. Also tore a little bit of this apart just to see kind of what's going on over here. And then took some like molding off of here and lights over here. I'm working on the cabinets here and removing this. Um, I would like to somehow move this cabinet and or that cabinet up towards the front here so they're not just completely going to waste. Uh, but but the plan is to get crushed right on top of the axles and this little box right here, are, that's where the tires are. What do you guys think, good progress so far? Oh yeah. How are you guys making out in here? Oh, just wonderful. Just wonderful, excellent, froggy fresh. I like to hear that. Are you guys working on taking that cabin out? Yeah, hmm. but. <laughs> This is built right in place, right? You can't even freaking. Yeah, they're all they're all built right in place. You can't even like tip it on its side. No, they're built from the inside out. Whoa, that's a hole. Ah! How'd that feel? Whiplash. We have to destroy something. I got my destroyer right here. Okay. 
got it. You know, you're destroying my trailer. This place is a nice place until you showed up. You know that? You got the batteries charged and we killed all three of them. But I only have two chargers. I gotta let the Duramax cool down because I actually almost got stuck right here. You can see the, the belly of it dragging right here. The front tire sat right here when I went to turn around. I tried to position it where I am right now and they just sunk and I'm like, we have no other choice but to go forward. So I just put it in four wheel drive, pinned it and uh, luckily just made it through here just made it through here and then all this is really really deep and then i had to go way down the field and come back but but we're good that was a close one wasn't it <laughs> dude we would have been so you had to, screwed you had to talk about it before it... yeah i'm like i'm like dude this thing's just going through everything and then you got off uh, the road i felt both of those yep. front wheels just sink <laughs> I think I've said it yet today, but welcome home, you guys. Jason, welcome home. This is gonna be our new abode. Isn't it a wonderful sight? It's so dusty and, and insulation-y that it gets in your lungs, and Jason actually had to buy like a contact cleaner and stuff because his contacts are, it gets in your eyes. I don't wear contacts, I, I'm okay. It just, it's just a little bit. But this guy had to go down to the store and get some stuff. We're creating a new pile. We already take, we already have taken out the first pile. The electric looks good. Yeah, yeah, all the wires look brand new. I'm more about the journey and about building my own thing than just going out and buying something. I think this is much more fun than going to a parking lot and just saying, here you go, here's the money. Like, that's not fun. Like, I had way more fun doing this. Yeah, way toy, more fun. Toy haulers, how much? Yeah, exactly. How much is this? Free. Plus Free 99. Good, yep. The axles are still good, the yeah. frame is perfect. Yep. We're gonna chop off the back 10 feet. And it's gonna be it's gonna be to our specifications. Like nobody else can do that. People can buy an enclosed trailer. People can buy a toy hauler. But is it really down to what they want exactly? Well, I'll tell you one thing: the 3D machines and the Crushmobile will definitely have that. Crush is going to live right here on top of the axles. As you can see right here, this is where the two tires are. So right in the center of the trailer here, this is where Crush is going to go, which means the bathroom has to be moved because as you guys know, I hate porta potties, absolutely hate them. That's the first thing that we need to install in this thing after Crush can get in and out is, is definitely a workable, definitely a toilet that works. All this will be clear. We'll have our bathroom and other stuff up there. Doing the ceiling, doing the floor. See if anybody wants a uh, state-of-the-art Falcon 2900 AM FM with take deck. Man, it even comes to the stripper pole. What a beautiful sight. Isn't this thing looking good, you guys? The pop-outs make it look so much better when they're actually down than when they're up. Yes, and the New York sunset looks good too. The sunset, however, is not going to transport Crush to these race events. All right, looks like it's a couple, uh, looks like it's a couple quarter inch. We gotta remove this. What we lose? Uh, pillow. So it may not look like it, but we are making progress with the Crush Carrier. It, you need to make things look like junk before they turn into the things that you want them to turn out to be. That's, that's just the way the building process goes. Anyways, I have something very, very exciting to tell you and information to disclose to you. And that is we're going to race Crush for the first time ever, April 21st. Mark your calendars. There's going to be food. There's going to be drinks. Yamaha is going to be there uh, offering demo rides. So you can actually go on a, a brand new machine, take it for a spin. They're, they're going to be there. Uh, Mountain Dew, I guess, is having a some sort of rope thing that you can swing into the lake. There's going to be races all day Saturday. There's going to be races all day Sunday. It's, I believe, $20 to get in. Kids from six to 11 years old is $10, and if you're five or younger, it's free. Once you're in, I do believe you're good for Saturday and Sunday. I'm gonna be there with Jake, Seth, my girlfriend, Crush, maybe my brother, maybe a few other friends. It's going to be really, really exciting. We're gonna be selling merch. We're gonna be meeting all of you guys. 
So whether you're two years old or 99 years old, come on out. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of fun. I'll probably get there early Saturday morning. I have to sign in and everything like that. So we're going to open the machine merch and, and the crush and everything at 11 o'clock. We're gonna go till probably 7 p.m. and then we'll probably start shutting things down. So from 11 to 7, 3D machines and the gang will be free. My race starts at four o'clock. There's probably gonna be like 75, 80 racers, maybe even more. It goes for an hour. All the classes compete on one track and it's all one race. It's, it's 60 minutes of craziness. So I'll be racing Saturday and then Jake and Seth and his parents will be racing Sunday. So again, set your calendars for April 21st. The second cool piece of news is the fact that we're gonna do a machine merch 24 hour giveaway. And what that means is I'm going to pick three random people that order machine merch in the next 24 hours. You can either choose to have that order free or you can choose any one piece of apparel from machinemerch.com. So that includes shirts, hats, pieces of apparel, decals, anything of that nature. I will disclose the three winners in tomorrow's video as well, along with any things, any details that I missed from today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.